Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. We're focusing today on spotlights. And if you look here at the table, I have the die. It's an extra large die and it has two spotlights on it. This is just the spotlight shape itself, but it's easy to use the cut on the die itself in order to go back and add the details so that you can have lots of detail on each of these dies. Then if you want to just staple these all along the top of a bulletin board, I just by hand, I cut out what would be like spotlights or beams of light that could come down out of these. And it could be spotlight on math or spotlight on reading. And you could have math papers or reading or spelling tests could sit in the beam of light and create a really cool bulletin board. It also works really well to have it be spotlight on the kids in your room. So what I did was I took a photo and cut it so that it would fit into this portion of the spotlight. In order to do that so that I had a guide, all I did was I took the shape itself and if you look here, you can see it's attached in these two areas. So with my scissors, I just trimmed to complete that oval shape, place it onto your student's photos, use this as a guide so you can see to cut out their little faces, and then go ahead and place these right into that opening. It really is great to create Spotlight on Room 6 or Spotlight on Room 8 and have all of the kids in your class in the spotlights. You know, if you staple several spotlights across the top of a bulletin board, you can shine a spotlight on student work or on your students, any number of subject areas and any number of applications.